All right, the equation of a circle is x minus h quantity squared. Let's see if I can make this a little darker. Plus y minus k quantity squared equal to r squared. So the center is hk. The center of the circle is, if you look at this, it's uh, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, positive 1. So h is, uh, the center of the circle is negative 3, positive 1. All right, so x, x minus my h value, x minus a minus 3, x minus, x minus a minus 3 is x plus 3, quantity squared plus y, Minus whatever k is. k is a positive 1. So y minus 1. Quantity squared equal to the radius squared. Well, the radius is from 1, right from the center of the circle, 1, 2. So 2 squared is going to be 4. But they all have 2 squared here. So what are we looking for? x plus 3 squared and y minus 1. x plus 3 squared and y minus 1. Letter A, number 11, letter A. That looks good. And the next one. Don't worry about 15. We will have nothing like 15. I'm not even going to bother putting you through that. Number 18, I did in class, I believe. You can't divide by zero. All right, so you don't want to use any value for x that causes this denominator to be zero. When does x squared equal zero? Well, take the square of x squared, it's x, and the square root of zero is zero, so x cannot be zero. So write here, letter A, x cannot be zero, all right? And that's just simply interval notation. x cannot be zero, because if you square zero, you get zero. Seven divided by zero is undefined. Can't use zero. Number 19. I thought I did this in class. Here again, you can't divide by zero. So find out when that denominator equals zero. So I'm going to factor this. All right. I'm going to factor this into x plus 6 times x uh, minus 2 equal to zero. And when does x plus 6 equal zero? When x is equal to a negative 6. And when does x minus 2 when does x minus 2 equal 0? It equals 0 when x is positive 2. So these are bad values. All right. x cannot be negative 6, nor can it be equal to 2. If you substitute any one of those two numbers into your denominator, the denominator will become 0, and the function will be undefined. So it can't be negative 6, and it can't be positive 2. Number 19, letter A. And once again here, number 21, this radican, right? This value here has to be bigger than or equal to 0. 17 minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0. All right, so negative x has to be greater than or equal to 17. Now, when I multiply this through by a negative, it changes the direction of the inequality, all right, and it changes that sign to a negative. So what we're saying is that x has to be less than or equal to a negative 17. What number are we on here? Number 20. And I'm sorry, this was a, a negative to begin with when right, I brought that over. So multiplying through makes this a positive, all right. X has to be less than or equal to 17, letter D. And that was the last one you asked me about. Hopefully that helps.